Hey guys, this is Heather and this is going to be a quick introduction of our Tradetix performance page. Uh, a lot of people misunderstand this page so I felt I had to create a separate video for this page because there is some useful information there, here that people don't really understand and they think, and they think that uh, we are uh, miscommunicating the information or the information here is false. So I'm going to clarify some of those things here. So, so right on the top, you see the overall accuracy of all our tools. So when I say all our tools, I mean Profit, uh, Bullseye, and Tradetix AI. So these are sort of the tools that we have. The, the, the Profit tool is the, the tool here. The Clairvoyant tool is actually a part of the Profit tool where the, 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 the price change today is higher than 10% or lower than minus 10%. So all the big movers, uh, in the profit are actually called clairvoyant. Psychic is actually the options part of profit. So when we are saying profit, we, we just mean the stock AI part that looks at price action and technical analysis to make trade ideas. Psychic is just the options AI part of profit. So if you've seen the profit video, you will realize that there are two columns in the tool. One of them is price action AI and the second one is uh, options AI. So options AI is called psychic. Droid is the stock expectation version of Bullseye. Uh, again, if you have seen the Bullseye video, you will see that there are two columns. There is a stock expectation column and then there is an options uh, contract column. So uh, Droid is the stock expectation column and then we have the Bullseye, which is the actual options contract prediction. So, so some of these values are fairly sort of easy to understand and you'll see that we have the average returns and then we have the bullish and bearish thresholds. So why are these thresholds here? So when you see the average returns of 3.3%, that means that you get those returns when you follow these thresholds. So when we have a threshold of 90% for bullish and 90% bearish, that means that you only need to go with a trade idea if the bullish prediction or a bearish prediction has a confidence of more than 90%. So that's what these two values mean. Now what happens is sometimes bullseye has 100% accuracy and people think that we are just lying and the, the, the accuracy of the tool is not really 100%. Which is actually true because the accuracy of the tool is about 60 to 70% but you have to realize that this accuracy is based on these thresholds. So the accuracy of the tool is indeed 100% when the threshold for bullish or bearish predictions is above 70% confidence score. But if it's less than that, then the accuracy falls somewhere between 60 to 100%. So this value, this value is actually true and these returns are actually valid as well. So this is not some false information that we are uh, showing you. This is actually valid information that comes directly from these tools. And we can see that Bullseye is obviously dominating these days. The total returns of all our tools in the last three to five days. This performance is on a rolling basis of three to five days. The total returns on average are about 138 percent so the and the overall accuracy is again 74 percent here so next up we have the biggest bullseye winners so the biggest calls or puts winners and you can see that we have been doing really good in the last three four days we have an alert that set 225 percent profits right now we have like five uh, 100 percent plus winners then we also have some other winners as well. So this is again uh, the, the biggest winners from the last uh, two, three or about four, four days. Next up, we have the biggest bullish and bearish winners from profit. So this was from bullseye, but this is from profit where you are seeing the probability and you see the total change since the alert was posted. And then these are the big, bearish winners. So we actually want the total change to be negative because if the price went down, then the total change was negative. So the higher the negative value, the better it is for us. So you can see that we, we, we pretty uh, nicely predicted all these uh, downward trends and then we also predicted all these upward trends. Next up is a fairly simple widget where you have the accuracies by sector. So here you can see what sector is performing the best these days. You can see that energy is doing really well across our tools. So maybe you can go with stocks in the energy sector and you can play them. So that, that was it about this tool. Uh, again, it's, it's not really a tool, but it's a really important page that shows you the best thresholds that you can use to find the best possible plays from our tools. So again, I hope this was all clear. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. That would be it for this video. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video.